See, I'm going to introduce you what is the collection framework in Java. See, before going to understand the collections framework, few things, simple things only. Using programming, we are just developing applications. We know that every application is used to store the information and perform operations on information. These two only. For example, if you take the banking application, so what bank application will do? It will store all account holders information. All account holders information, it will store. And after that, whenever they are performing the transactions, right on accounts information, it will perform the operations. Simply, every application is used to store and process the information. Okay. Now, if you want to store the information, in how many ways we can store the information? The first one is a using primitive variables, we can store information. If you want to store one value, suppose 10, we are declaring one variable and we are storing. This is called primitive variable. It holds only one value at a time. Sir, if I want to store multiple values of same type, then multiple values of same type, then you can go with the array concept. Array is used to store more than one element but of same type either either all are either all are integers all are float all are double like this and all elements will store in a consecutive memory locations and we can access them using their index just go through the array tutorial if you want to become strong in arrays concept the values will store into these side-by-side -side locations. We can access them using their index. If you want to store multiple values, but of same type, you can go with array. Sir, if I want to store multiple values, but different type, you can go with the object. We can say that class. Suppose is a class employee. It has multiple values. ID is integer. Suppose name is a string and double salary. Different values. See, whenever you are allocating the memory to this employee, employee E is equal to new employee of. So then object will be created and use it to store id name and salary this is called object at some location memory will be allocated see the final one is what if you want to store multiple objects that is our concept if you want to store multiple objects simply to say list of employees i want to store not only one employee list of products information I want to store, list of customers information I want to store, list of accounts I want to store, list of students information I want to store. Then you can go with a collection. It's a collection of objects. It's a collection of objects, list of employee objects, employee ID, employee name, employee salary, like this it will store. This is, we call it as a collection. So very important point, every application, main important concept is what? Storing the data. But if you want to store the data, different ways are there to store the data, primitives, arrays, objects, and collections. See, here, so one problem will come. Sir, 
why we need to go with a collection when array is there what is the difference between array of objects array of objects and collection of objects simply to say list of objects only one thing is what array is a static in memory static means what fixed in size static means fixed in size nothing but if you want to store 100 employee details okay you can allocate the memory with a size 100 then you can store 100 objects but whenever you want to store the next record 101 that is not possible right only the fixed amount of objects you can store but collection is completely dynamic dynamic means what size shrinks and grows size grows whenever you are inserting the data size shrinks whenever you are deleting the data deleting the objects so it is also just looking like an array only but it is not fixed size when you are keep on adding the size will be increased when you are keep on deleting the size will be decreased automatically that is the only difference between array of objects as well as list of objects this is the simple introduction part of collections framework